buttons. They tell elevators where to go, they close our shirts, but on the web, buttons tell users what to do, and that's powerful. Welcome to Tool Tips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. This week, I'm going to show you how to use the button field to build clear call to actions in your Airtable workflows. The button field can do a lot, from launching a web page to integrating with your base's apps so you can email a customer or open a project status slide at the click of a button. Let's break down how you can use the button field. First, we'll walk through how to use the button field to open a URL, then an app like PageDesigner. Finally, we'll talk about how to get your button in front of the right audience. Let's start with a simple way to use a button, opening a URL from your base. I'm going to create a button to open the draft for any piece of content in this content table. To create a button field, you'll need to add a new field, choose the button type, and give it a name. I'll call mine Open Draft. You can customize the button's label. This is the text that will appear on the button itself. Then its color, I'll make mine a nice yellow. Finally, you'll choose the action, what you want your button to do. Let's start with Open a URL. This brings up a formula where you can enter your URL. Mine is already in this link to drafts field, which I can add here to dynamically pull in that link for each record. Now my team's reviewers will know where to go when reviewing a piece of content. Next, let's connect the button field to an app. Just like before, start by adding a button field and giving it a name, label, and color. Then it's time to pick an action. There are a few apps available to use with the button field. You can trigger an email using the SendGrid app or attach a photo sourced from Pexels. I'm going to connect my button to the page designer I built last week and then select the meeting deck from our last episode. Now, when I click the button, it opens my meeting deck. Most importantly, it opens it in the specific record I targeted, making it easy to go from record to relevant slide. Now that our button fields are configured, how do we actually get people to click on them? The first tip is to make them prominent in your different views to give collaborators a clear call to action. I'll create a weekly campaign meeting view and make this button prominent. You can also use button fields on shared views. If we share this view for reviewing content, it's clear for the team where to find the draft link. Final tip, you can add an if statement in the URL formula to make the button clickable only when it needs to be. For instance, you can add a condition on the status of the content to only allow clicking when it's ready for review. Got an important view without a clear call to action for your collaborators? Go ahead and add a button field so it's clear for everyone what they need to do. Let us know in the comments what you end up building with the button field, and I'll see you back here next week for another episode of Tooltips.